it's Mr. PC Electronics here and today I'm going to show you how you can fix that laptop that isn't powering on. Uh, most likely with this laptop here it's the chipset. Um, it needs to be reflowed and I'm going to show you how to do that. These are the tools you're going to need to do this job. You're going to need a small Phillips head screwdriver right here. Just a small, can even go to a negative side. Also, you're going to need some butane. You can get this at uh, Walmart uh, in the plumbing section. It's only about $2, 2 to $3. You're going to need a butane torch. You can get this at Walmart or Home Depot. It's going to be in the soldering section at Home Depot and in the plumbing section at Walmart. Any hardware store should have it. It's about $19. Bucks. Um, I'll take it out real quick and show it to you. Because this is what we're going to be using to heat the uh, chipset. Also, you're going to need some Reynolds wrap or any kind of wrap, uh, aluminum foil. And uh, the thicker, the better. And I'll, you'll, you'll see why I mean thicker later, because it, it's actually going to cover the chipset and you're going to cut out a small part where you want to heat just one little spot but you don't want to heat the rest of the chipset so you don't destroy it. Get the motherboard out and this is what you're going to be heating up. This is the chipset right here. This little tiny square right here in the middle is the part we're going to heat. We don't want to heat this outside part right here. So that's what we're going to cover with tin foil and then cut out the middle section so we can just heat that because there's little tiny um, resistors and stuff on this that you could melt right off. Also, we're going to remove the C-mouse battery, and we're going to take out our wireless card. This is pretty much on the bottom of the board. It looks like this when it's inside the machine, and that's why you can't get to it. For those of you that don't have the thick aluminum, we're going to go ahead and get, use this tin foil, and we're just going to fold it a bunch of times. Make sure it's kind of smooth because I need some, it's got to be a little bit thick, at least half a quarter inch thick. You're trying to keep the heat away from that other part of the chipset. So we're just going to fold it a couple of times. And we're going to have to cut this out later. Pull it one more time. All right. Make sure it's nice and flush and smooth. All right. Now we're going to take the motherboard. I'll remove the C-mouse and stuff later. Let me zoom in for you. All right. Now we're going to take this. Obviously, I'm going to cut more of the edge out. We want to put it over here, but I'm just going to make a quick impression. I'm going to put it over this. So you want to outline the chip set so you can actually see it. And honestly, I would leave it like this because it's covering everything else. So we're just going to outline this really quick with our finger just to give us a good reference. And then we're going to push real hard on this chip set part. So we can actually see the chipset because we got to cut this out. This is the only part that we're going to be heating. I'm sure you guys are starting to get the picture now. Okay, so now we have our impression and we're just going to cut out this little tiny spot right here. Now that we have our <clears throat> C-mouse battery out and our wireless card, we now have the tin foil in and it's cut out real nice. We're going to take our <clears throat> butane and we're going to fill up our torch. Just gonna stick it in the back and you're gonna hold down until it fills up. We got our butane torch lit. Now we're gonna turn it down a little bit. And you're just gonna hold the paper down or this uh, tin foil down. And so it should be molded and we're just gonna heat it. Now you don't want to keep it directly on it because if you do it can crack. You just want to reach it to a certain point to where it can 
reflow the solder. All right, we're going to see if that does it. Just let it cool down. And we're going to not fully assemble it in the laptop, but we're going to hook the power button up and get it so where we can plug it in to see if it actually posts. We're just going to put the one, one stick of RAM back in here just so it can post. That's pretty much it for that. Make sure it's all the way in there. And we're only going to partially put this board in. So we're just going to flip it. Um, I don't need to put the C-mouse in or nothing like that battery. We're just going to put it in here. I'm going to actually plug in a few of these. I'm going to plug the LCD in, the inverter power, and the fan and the power button just so we can see if it powers on. So here's the LCD. We're just going to plug that back in. Don't need to plug everything back in. But this right here is the power cord right here, runs to power the board. Um, and then I'm just going to throw this, here's the power switch, it's right underneath the laptop. I'm just going to plug that one back in. I don't even have to do that, I could hot wire it with uh, a little um, screwdriver, but this is just guaranteed. All right, now we don't need speakers or anything like that. Let's go ahead and plug it in and see if we post. Okay guys, well I hope you enjoyed that quick video on how to reflow your chipset. Um, on this particular chipset didn't need reflow, it was actually the entire motherboard. Uh, I went ahead and reflowed the whole motherboard, but I'm making that a separate video. So if you guys check my channel out, you can see how to reflow your motherboard in an oven. Well, if you guys enjoyed these videos, please subscribe and see you guys again.